this session I will talk about the hope. Uh, I have already discussed with you about the optimism and uh, forgiveness and uh, happiness and here again the positive emotions uh, which I will talk and the role of uh, hope into the interpersonal relationship also. So, uh, it will be the definitions of the hope, comparison between the hope and expectation, uh, hope theory, hope review, benefits, examples, characteristics of the hopeful person, research papers. So, whenever we are talking about the hope, the hope definition, uh, first definition is given by the default and the motto show multidimensional dynamic life. Force characterized by a confident yet uncertain expectation of achieving a future good which to the hoping person is realistically possible and personally significant. And therefore, in that case, the person who is having the hope, it is becoming a very uncertain expectation for him and therefore, it is a future good which he is expecting. And therefore, in that case, uh, it is realistically uh, whether it is the possible to achieve it or not. Snyder, Irving and Anderson in 2000 has given the definition of hope a positive motivational state that is based on an intellectually derived sense of goal directed energy and planning to meet goals. So, the uh, hope is a very, very positive energy because whenever whatever the situation of the life is there, what makes a per person to survive and that is the hope. Susan Falkman in 2010 defined the hope as a theological virtue along with faith and charity and as a positive goal related motivational state. If there is a such a motivational state is there, uh, then definitely the person will be trying to achieve his positive goal. C.S. Um, Sinder in 2005, he talked about hope is defined as a pursued capability of an individual to derive pathways to desired goals. This is a very beautiful definition is there and therefore, in that case uh, whether I will be having the achievement of that goal or not that will depend that will depend on the pursued capability of the individual. The pursued capability, capability of the individual is how himself he perceives that is whether he will be able to do that particular task or will not be able to do that particular task. Therefore, this pursued capability that of an individual to derive the pathways to desired goals and that desired goals will make him to motivate oneself via agency thinking to use those pathways are there. So, naturally in that case we will find that is this is becoming a very, very important aspect for an individual. So, uh, hope is positive feeling which originated from within, from oneself. And interestingly, as we have seen in the last slide, that is the all definitions, they are talking about the person himself. So, if you want to generate the hope, then it has to be, one should be having very hopeful within. It means that, nobody else can create the hope and therefore, it is the one oneself has to believe in the capability and then the, uh, think of the uh, positive results at the desired goals. It is related to a desire that something might happen. But when we talk about the expectation, the difference between the hope and expectation is, expectation is also a similar desire, but mostly expectations depend on others in order to get fulfilled. So, therefore, when we talk about that is the I have hope I will be successful and when I say I am sure my boss will help me that is an expectation. So, the actions in the case of the hope are from myself within myself. But in the expectations, actions are from the other side and the belief is also from the other side is there. It depends on the other person. So, this is the desire from others and hope is the desire from myself. The, if you talk about the hope, it is the generally healthy because you are 
trusting yourself. You have positive attitude and impression for yourself, but when we are having the expectation, keeping expectation is not good, it is unhealthy and therefore, in that case it is generally unhealthy is there. So, if it is unhealthy means that is the these particular uh, having the hope is good at the workplace, but having the expectations it is an unhealthy. Type of feeling is eternal related to one's own in, uh, internal feelings is there. Therefore, in that case it is the oneself, while in case of the expectation generally depends upon others to be fulfilled I already mentioned. Now, we will take one example, I hope to visit her someday that will be a beautiful day. I expected her to be here at 9 o'clock, but she does not care for my feelings. So, therefore, in this case this is the uh, I, I hope to visit her someday. So, it is from my side I will visit here she will visit. So, therefore, in that case she has to come. So, therefore, that is why it has been said that is the it is generally unhealthy. If we talk about the attitude you invited a friend for a party and she was not able to make it to your party. Hope is your hope of having her in the party was not met still you feel that she must have at least tried to attend the party. Expectation is your expectation of having her in the party was not met you are really annoyed and have decided not to call her in your next party. <laughs> So, therefore, in that case uh, this is of the expectations. So, in normal conditions we will find that is the expectations are more and hopes are less. So, the reason is that is the we are expecting from others to do rather than believing ourselves, and therefore, as a result at the workplace this particular dimension that, that is the hope that is the more dominant over the expectation. At workplace we should have more hopes rather than more expectations, more hopes and less expectation that formula should work at the workplace. Desire is that is the realistic in the in case of the hope it is realistic because it is on the base of my own analysis, it is based on my own calculations, it is based on my own equation, but in case of the expectation it is generally unrealistic because this is based on others my, my expectation is that is the other has to do and therefore, it is my desire is will be the generally unrealistic because I do not know the other's strengths, capabilities, situation, uh, other's role, responsibility, his wisdom, I am not aware, but still I am having the expectation. So, therefore, it will be unrealistic. Now, we will go through the theory on the hope. This hope theory can be subdivided into four categories. The first is goals data valuable and uncertain are described as the anchors of hope theory as they provide direction and then an end point for hopeful thinking is there. So, therefore, in that case the goals are becoming very very important. Pathway thoughts refer to the routes as uh, we take to achieve our desired goals and the individual's perceived ability to produce these routes. So, therefore, uh, there will be many routes to be successful to be happy. But it is the individual's desired goals and the individual's perceived ability whether to go for produce those routes or not. Agency thoughts refer to the motivation we have to undertake the routes towards our goal. So, our goals are clear, but we have filled we have to go through the our thoughts. Barriers block the attainment of our goals and in the event of a barrier we can either give up or we can use our pathway thoughts to the create the new routes are there. So, therefore, in that case naturally whenever there is a goal and there are the different paths so there will be barriers. But how we penetrate through the barriers 
and then we go ahead that is about that is the uh, how we are uh, either uh, many people they either give up or we can use our pathway thoughts to create uh, the new roots are there. So, therefore, in that case if there are problems we will try to find out the alternative solution. High hope has been found to correlate with a number of beneficial constructs including academic achievements and lower level of depression. So, if we are having the high number of beneficial uh, in, uh, beneficial uh, including then definite constructs then definitely we will have the high academic achievements and we will have the lower level of depression. Meanwhile, low hope is associated with negative outcomes including a reduction in well being. So, naturally um, if we are having the low hope then we will have the negative outcomes uh, because uh, then in that case we will not be uh, because our thought process is not supporting ourselves and therefore, there will be the negative outcome and uh, if there is a negative outcome we will be unhappy and there our well we will not be having the well being. Hope is believing your dreams will come true. So, naturally whenever we are having the hopes it is becoming that is our dreams will come true. It is knowing you will be successful in all that you do because that is the trust the people are having. You will need to work hard and have patience too. So, therefore, now because you want to achieve our goals. So, we have to overcome the barriers and we have to need to work hard and naturally we have to patience also, but when you have hope each day is brand new and every day is creating the new hopes is there and we can have the hope for tomorrow and therefore, that can be there. In the hope review reflect for a moment or what hopes means to you, where is your hope right now on a scale from 1 to 10. So, we will see that is the we will do the low or high, what is the smallest thing that could happen to increase your hope and therefore, what helps your hope generally. Hope is so important that it has been described as being essential for existence. So, therefore, still there is a hope, still there is a life. So, therefore, in that case it is described as an essential for existence. Hope enhances a person's ability to cope with illness by mediating the consequences of stressful situations and and by facilitating the appraisal of events as manageable and therefore, in that case it, it is becoming a very, very high level of ability of the individuals and that to meet these stressful situations and naturally that can be the appraisal situation. Now, we will see the characteristics of a hopeful person. Hopeful person is happy and grateful for the life they have. So, they, they are not having any complaint about their life. However, they are by no means content, and, but they do not stop there and therefore, are always looking to make improvements. So, therefore, in that case the hopeful persons, so they will be always having the uh, whatever they have got in the life so far, they will be highly grateful towards life. But simultaneously they will be it does not mean that they will be contented and they will be not having any efforts to grow further and you will find that is the yes the people are trying to grow further also. Hopeful person is a big dreamer who consistently imagines a better world than the one they currently live in. So, always always having the positive approach towards the tomorrow and they are looking for the better world for the tomorrow. They turn their dreams into concrete goals built upon their personal values and therefore, in that case that whatever their goal was there and they try to fulfill their goal their dreams to achieve that particular goal uh, and they by the help of the personal values. So, their personal values will be very strong and they will be able to win, win and meet the dream which they want to achieve. Approaches everything the positive uh, hopeful persons approaches everything with a sense of curiosity that they, they want to learn more, they are curious about life and about the world around them and therefore, in that case it will be the uh, very much uh, positive that is the what they want to do. Given this they are constantly in the act of exploring and experimenting in an effort to make things better. 
So, if they want to make the things better then definitely in that case uh, they will be uh, always try to go for the exploring and exp experimenting. So, new and new uh, uh, efforts they will make every day tends to live in the present moments and therefore, always they enjoy today. Yes, they do spend time visualizing a better future for themselves, but as I mentioned that they are not feeling contented and therefore, they in they will be always making about they will be that is about building the future for tomorrow and therefore, in that case they will be visualizing a better future for themselves. They clearly understand that only by making the most of the present will they ever stand a chance of bringing that future into reality. This is very important that is their they, the hope is for the future, but their focus is for today. And therefore, when they talk about it today, they are having the very high efforts most of the so making the most of the present. Because they know if we want to meet the future what they, they uh, desire and they, what they dream for that for to achieve that tomorrow, they have to work today very hard. Consistently takes proactive action in the direction of their goals and objectives. To achieve their goals and objectives, they will be very highly proactive. In other words, they do not just hope that things will be better, they work hard to ensure that things get better. So, it is not that that is the, they just uh, uh, hope that the things will be better, but they put their efforts, they work hard to ensure that things get better. So, whatever the dream they have created for the uh, better tomorrow and therefore, they, they are putting their hard work also to achieve that tomorrow. Always focuses on being generous and giving. So, therefore, they are becoming very generous and giving uh, in their, their uh, they unclearly understand that by giving to others and by helping people overcome their problems. So, they always think to overcome the, their problems and helping the people allows them a greater path of understanding about their own personal struggles and therefore, in that case they that will be always hopeful persons, they will always have the greater depth of understanding about their own personal struggles. Now, I would like to take the certain examples of the optimistic and hopeful leaders. Uh, Intel co-founder Robert Noisy once said that optimism is an essential ingredient of innovation. Noisy and his partner started Intel in 1968, a year when the US economy faced the greatest crisis since uh, the Great Depression. Winston Churchill also faced skeptics. In Churchill's case, nearly the entire British population was skeptical about going to war with the Nazi Germany. Churchill single handedly turned around public opinion in World War II with a series of the optimistic speeches, painting a picture of how Britain could turn back the Nazi tide washing over Europe. And the Jeff because uh, Bezos, in an extremely rare combination of visionary and master builder, 20 years ago seeing something no one else could see and then turning it Amazon into the world's number 2 most admired company after Apple. And therefore, in that case it will be that is the how that is the Jeff Bezos is an, uh, created and the company uh, which is becoming the highly admired company. Now, I would like to take certain research papers and in these research papers uh, uh, first we will take uh, uh, the paper title imagine hope in organizations from individual goal attainment to horizons of the relational possibility written by the Ann Carlson, Anna Lenske Hagen and the, uh, and the Todd F. Mortensen. The key takeaways from this particular title of the paper is that is re reviving hope as a key construct in organizational research demands a bro bro broadening of its conceptual under uh, underpinning and helps an individual in the goal attainment is there. And the, this particular uh, the learning is that that is always be hopeful to whatever you want to achieve that particular goal. Uh, um, hope and hope another paper titled hope a new positive strength for human resource development by the Fred Luthans and Susan Jensen. It examines the role that hope may play in effective human resource development. 
So therefore, in any organization, if you want to develop the competency of uh, uh, the uh, organizational effectiveness and efficiency, then definitely you have to make your human resource uh, highly hopeful. It also describes the role of hope in organizations and its effectiveness, effective implementation. And therefore, these companies that is the Coca-Cola and all, so they, they, are, they are making the particular role uh, that is the how this particular uh, hope organization and its effective implementation is there. So, uh, in this case we will find that is the uh, paper 1 imaging hope in organizations from individual goal attainment to horizons of the relational possibility. Here the, the phenomenon of hope has been defined and hope should be understood in its varieties. Frustrations with a plethora of definitions signifies the insights of the phenomenon and its many differentiated manifestation rather than intellectual confusion is there. So, we should avoid that is the uh, uh, in spite of the intellectual confusion we should see that is this particular phenomena that has been covered. It is fruitful to approach the phenomenon of hope in organizations as a differentiated and future oriented quality of experiencing that may be directed towards anticipated attainment of specified outcomes and purposes. So, therefore, it is required to be a specified outcome, but can also address an expectation of opening up to unknown possibilities and unparticulated horizons of the expectations and there beyond. So, therefore, we have to understand that is the uh, opening of the new unknown possibilities. It is relationally analyzed and sustained and therefore, in that case it is becoming the more more analytical and sustainable. Assumes and enables believed in imagining of the narrative form and therefore, this particular form of that uh, to believe that is the yes uh, we, we will create the more enablers may be inherited from previous experience as well as emerge from new events and jolts the experience. So, this type of the concepts uh, in the attainment of the goal that may be inherited from the previous experience as well as the from the new events can be there is emotionally charged in its origin and in mobilizing effect and therefore, they are able to create that particular style of their uh, to have the hopes in the organizations and accommodates both potentially positive outcomes and negative elements of despair, doubt, conflict and loss. Now, here we have to also understand that on one side we have to keep the positive uh, psychology and uh, hope and uh, we have to try to get the results, but simultaneously we have to keep the negative elements away that is about the despair, doubt, conflict and the loss. So, if we are having the positive outcomes then definitely in that case the uh, our hope that will be fulfilled. Now, I would like to talk about the paper 2. The paper 2 talks about uh, hope and new positive strength for human resource development. It examines the role that hope may play in effective HRD human resource development. Unlike traits which are stable characteristics, states are temporary behaviors or feelings that depend on a person's situation and motives at a particular time. So, therefore, it is not a, a personality traits rather than it is a states or temporary behavior or feelings. The difference between traits and state is comparable to the difference between climate and weather. And Los Angeles has a warm climate, but on same day it may have the cool weather. In the same time, uh, same way a person who has a trait of the calmness may experience of the state of anxiety on a day when he or she faces a difficult challenge and therefore, in that case there is a particular trait that will be prevail and in that uh, prevailing that particular tra uh, trait that will be the calmness. So, if the calmness is there then person will be able to come out with that particular state of anxiety. Next findings from the initial research uh, in the workplace indicates a positive relationship between the hope levels of both managers and associates and performance. 
The article concludes by examining the implication that hope has for HRD, including specific guidelines for how hope can be implementing through the training programs and organization development, and finally noting needed for the uh, uh, the future directions. So, therefore, whenever we are talking about the positive relationship and the of the hope uh, between the hope levels of the managers uh, and the performance, then in that case, the training programs and organization development that is playing a very important role. If you train your employees, if you develop your employees, so you will find that is the your future directions are becoming very much positive. Uh, whenever we are talking about the hope, I have just introduced this concept, but when you have the hope, then the, you will have the more and more positivity and the definitely uh, at least at the workplace, uh, you will follow uh, the, that is the you will have the more hopes and less expectation from others at the workplace. So, this is all about the uh, hope. Thank you.